Mm. Yeah. Just a sec. Paul? I'll get called you back. Would you be interested? Those bank details you found are for a shell company registered in Dubai. And yesterday with our first activity in it. Please, tell me it's the Kinsless. Wayne Madigan. A large transfer arrived in from an account linked to him that was then forwarded on to the Central Bank of Syria. You report that? Of course. What about the shell company? Can we link that to the Kinsless? Not so far. It's owned by another shell company registered in London that's owned by another shell and so on and so on. I know. This would have been the icing on the cake. But with everything we got in the dealership and our current businesses, we've more than enough to make the money laundering charge stick. Joe, you daydreaming? Hey, Ryan. The usual. Please, yeah, thanks. I need something to warm me up. No look at a room last night? No, it was all full again. I slept in a doorway down the customs house. Ah. You still have the old? Yeah. Yeah. It's not heaven, but... Uh, it's not hell either. Take care. Right. Right, pal. I think you've had enough. Come on. Oh, yeah, I'm grand. Mrs. Hennessy. I'm after spilling me drink. Right, come on, time to go. Why don't I call you a cab? Yeah, it's all right, I'll handle this, don't worry. It's we? fine. Yes, yeah, fine, mister. Now be a good filly, and filly me up. Yeah, bit of respect there, Reggie, all right? I said it's fine. That's right, I am fine. <sighs> well, not as fine as the lovely Patricia here. Oh, oh, why don't I call your son come on. and hey, let's go. Come you on, home. Reggie, time to go. The cooperation will deteriorate, and she'll grow more frustrated. She's going to need long-term care. Like what? A nursing home? I asked about home help. Having someone stay with her. We've been down that road. She's been wandering off on her own now too much, and she's been told. Yeah, but maybe I could stay with her for a while. Don't be daft. You can't do that. She'd drive you mad. She's your sister, Jerry. What's the book, Joe? Virginia Woolf, Mrs. Dalloway. A fella reading a female author. That's new. <laughs> well, it is the great Virginia. What are you reading? Of Mice and Men. Steinbeck. Mm. I love his writing. He was a good fellow by all accounts. Claire, um, you know the gate are doing an adaptation of Grapes of Wrath at the moment. Just, if you might be interested. I, I think I'd like that. Tonight? Oh, oh wow. Uh, let me have a think. Um, I have a lot of paperwork, but... Oh, great. Right. <laughs> Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. And mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. I'm very sorry for your trouble.
Thank you. It was good of you to come. She's very peaceful. She is. She was a great lady. You were never a hurler. That's right. Connor was the hurler of the family. He was good in his day, all right. Are you the brainy one? No. That's Fiek. He's the youngest. Your father... Your father taught me in school. Is that right? I was in the same class as George Mann. Do you see that dove way up there in the wall? George drew that. Big fella. He certainly didn't need a ladder. He was to make a big painting when the place opened. That was just the drawing for it. A kind of preparation. He was to fill in the colour still. Why didn't he finish it? Matt's wife died suddenly, a few weeks before he was ready to open this place. And he had to decide whether the coffin or himself or to give it to the main competition. <laughs> so he did it himself, even though the place wasn't finished. It was fine. There was no problem with it. But the painting hadn't been done. And once Matt's wife had been laid out here, George Mahan said he wouldn't come back. He'd be too frightened, he said. The space was all ruined, or so he said. He couldn't work. You wouldn't know what to come up behind you, he said, when you'd be painting here. 